Hi there guys and welcome to another Blodom episode. So if you don't know Blodom yet, my name is Jan Blom and tonight we have the co-founder of Blodom here with us, Evan Hocker Keita. Okay guys, it is not that cold yet, but it's going to get very, very cold. We are going to take, finally, we're not going to do a bait video on grunters. We're going to actually do a video where we catch grunters tonight. <laughs> so we'll show you Hopefully we can show you how to catch grunters tonight, but uh, we are on the gecko tonight Oh, we're quickly gonna um, Get the gecko. There's a there's a pan So if he wants to catch a grunter and he's, he's very optimistic tonight that we're gonna get a grunter and he, he wants to do a um, No, there's not gonna be a catch and cook A catch and cook Did he did he salt and pepper? Yeah Okay, so we're just gonna do salt and pepper and butter No butter Oil Okay, just I don't know what he wants to do, but he wants to do a catch and cook on a grunter. But we'll see if we can do that. Otherwise, there is um, cheese buns and ham. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to launch now here. Yeah. Oh, it is dark, it's load shedding. Uh, for those international viewers that do not know what load shedding is, it's where Eskom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's where Eskom screwed up everything and we have to uh, shed the load so sometimes George is off, sometimes Nice Day is off, sometimes Cape Town is off the electricity, they switch off the electricity so yeah there's, there's no lights unless you have a generator or inverter system or solar system but yeah it is what it is um, and it's gotten so bad that we're at stage 5, 6, 7, 8 yeah. where we now? Oh. I don't know, but we basically every Shout day out to, eight, uh, eight hours without it. To Tigerberg Rock and Surf back in the days fishing. Thank you. <laughs> it's going to be one of those episodes, guys. Please bear with me. Evan is on the boat today. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, I apologize in advance for Evan. But uh, okay, let's get the boat in the water and let's get fishing. Sometimes a disaster, sometimes we get free Oh, you take the long way to stay close to me I don't want another, I just want to breathe You take me higher, you stay close to me oh, I feel so alive Okay, so that is how you launch ooh, a boat And there is the beautiful gecko in the water Finally Finally guys, yes, this has been a, a while What do you think? I saw them Okay, so before we get going, I quickly want to put up one more light. Um, I thought you want to say you put up the drone. No, I'm not going to put up the drone now. I want to put up one more light and then we're going to get... Ooh. And then we've got Chokka and Bloodworm. That's going to be used to catch Grunters tonight. Okay, uh, guys, so we are off now. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. This light is bloody brilliant. I'm going to turn the other light off, but look how much light this um, light is making on the boat you can see as clear as daylight that is brilliant um, yeah got the idea from my dad and uh, we don't need any other lights we are just putting this one light on and um, yeah that uh, is working actually brilliant okay so next up we're gonna bite up with we've got some bloodworms that we uh, got from friends that was here earlier today so they Came with a couple of bloodworms and now we are going to get um, the choker I'm going to show you how to bite up with the choker for granta and the bloodworms yeah we're probably going to go four choker baits and two bloodworms just to see what's biting and then we'll decide what to throw for the rest of the night um, the spot that I'm going to be lying is around about 2.8 to 3 meters deep um, what you're looking for is a narrow channel where the fish has to go through so you're looking for banks for them to feed on with the drop off so um, yeah the spot that I'm going to be fishing tonight has got all that so on your left and your right sand there's banks for them to, to get bait so we're fishing it on the pushing tide um, so that they, the fish can get onto those banks and then we'll throw two lines on the banks and then we'll throw two lines on the drop off either side and then two lines in the channel in the gully so the fish has to come through there and go up onto the bank so then we've got lines in the water for, for all uh, for everything but um yeah i'm going to show you the setup and what we use um how, you, how we bait up now yeah guys nice now i always love nice night at night fishing 
Um, it's one of my favorite places to come for night fishing. And as you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait for the sunrise tomorrow morning. Um, <coughs> yeah, I, I just love nice night. Yachts everywhere, boats everywhere. Um, yeah, this light is, oh, let me turn on my navigation lights. Port side always left, uh, starboard side always right. So the reason for that is, um, when you get to a harbor, you get on on the port side and if you look at any ship or any airplane you always get on the left hand side and that's the side you get on that's the port side that's the side that you you get on so that's why that's called the port side um, on the airplane it's also on the left hand side that you get in and stop it always on the right guys like always I'm going to show you what we do so around about a 70 80 centimeter um, the um, for your hook um, this is seven or eight kilogram line then I'm using mustard circles um, we'll show you exactly how to tie the circle look on so I put the, the line to the back and I wind it on the stem there you can see I'm winding it on the stem and then the most important part is to put it again in from the back okay so there you have it circle look in from the back that's how your circle looks gonna look and then I'm gonna tie this to a um, Hmm, it doesn't seem like I have any more. Where is my swirls? No swirls. Oh, yes, my swirls. Okay, so I'm going to tie that to a normal swivel. And then I'm going to quickly show you what we do with the sliding sinker line as well. So, that one goes onto a normal swivel. And I use the figure eight knots. On, uh, on it. Make sure that you snip, snip your, your um, excess line off. That uh, also causes tangle. Don't bite them off. Uh, take a knife or a nice sharp scissor and get them as close as possible off. Okay, that um, restricts your tangles on the line. Okay, so I'm going to take the same line that I used for my hook line. And I'm going to make around about a 30 centimeter um, sinker and I'm using two ounce cone sinkers there you can do see the little cone sinker that's also going to go with a figure eight and I also trim the excess on that And that goes onto a silver as well. Evie, hey, you're awfully quiet there in the front. Okay, hmm? I'm just going to trim the, the extra little bits off there. Okay, and that's the setup that we're going to be using on, we're going to be fishing with six rods now. Like I said, we're going to go Choka and um, Okay, so I'm going to take the first one. Okay, the rods that we're fishing with is our normal Shimano 100 Gs or 200 Gs, uh, the reels. Uh, around about 10 kilogram line. 
and then these are the gully buster rods again this is a custom the one that you want an extreme fishing bit for my boy his name is on and everything so it's a blue one it's not the normal purple one or that um what do you call it maroon ones this is a custom one that he made for him okay okay so and then you're gonna put on there. <coughs> you're gonna go that sliding sinker that we just made. Goes onto your main line, and on the other end goes your four O circle look that you just made. And again with a very nice eight figure eight knot. Okay. As you can see, there's your eight with your line. Tighten up and cut the extra bit off so it can tangle. Okay, yeah, that's the setup that we're going to be using now. I'm quickly going to get all the rods ready and then I'll show you um, what bait we're going to use. What? Okay, so here's a little chocker. So I'm gonna cut the head into three pieces. One, two, three. So that's gonna be three bites. And then I'm also gonna cut the little body into strips that will be, we will attach to the bait. Um, you can take the skin off if you want to. Quickly try and take the skin off. Oh, I'm just going to move it on. Okay. Then cut it into strips to add to your bite. Even he's singing of course music for us. Okay. So this is one of the pieces of the head. And I'm going to take two strips. That. Then you take your cotton and a piece of head. Where's a nice, the nice beast. piece of head? Okay. I'm going to take that piece of head that I've got there. And you just start working the cotton at any, any place that you can actually find. And you want to tie this, try and get this, um, make this as long as a finger. Try and tie it in a, in a so it kind of looks like a, a, as thick as your finger. Got it. So it starts taking a little bit of shape. But all the flavor is actually in the chokka head. There we go. Now it's getting some shape. Then all that I'm going to do is to make the bait a little bit bigger. I'm going to add some of that body parts in on it. Oh, this is a slimy, slimy business. There we go. I'm going to add one leg on this bait. More than enough. We're fishing for grunter. So this is a big bait for a grunter to swallow. But You'll be surprised at how big baits these grunters can swallow, even the little ones. They swallow these baits up like nothing. So, so let's get this nice and tight. Then I'm going to try and build myself a nice little place for the hook to set here on the top. Okay, once you've done that, then you take your hook, 4-0 mustard circle hook that I'm using tonight, and all I'm going to do is make sure that sets in a piece of the cotton, make sure it doesn't pull out like that, if that happens, just hook it up again, make sure that you've got a nice thick piece, 
There we go, that's better. And the, the hook is still nice and proud. Like that. And uh, that is a deadly bait for any cob or grunter that you uh, want to try and catch. Okay, so now the peckers can come. They can peck on the bottom here, the smaller fish can peck. And your bait will still be nice there if, uh, if, uh, if a big fish comes along. Then you still got a very nice piece of bait for the bigger fish. Okay, so I'm going to get these lines in. And uh, hopefully I can show you a fish later on. Okay, guys, so um, we've been busy. How long, Evie? 20, 30 minutes? Yeah. 20, 30 minutes. And uh, we've got our first decent fish on. Um, yeah, we were still setting up some lines and all of a sudden, zzz. So yeah, that's a nice feeling. Mm, it is just about what's the time now? Oh, quarter to two. And um, yeah, if how does it feel? Nice fish. Lekker. Probably if it's a grunter, it will start diving once it gets to the boat. Once it shows its face for the first time, um, it's gonna dive. That's what grunters normally do. So um, we'll see now if it starts diving now. It's definitely a grunter. Um, let's see what's... Oh, no, it's a ducky. What's that? What? Uh, eagle ray. Eagle ray. A little eagle ray. That's not the target species. <clears throat> That's definitely not the target species that we wanted. What's his spike? Yeah, he's trying to cut me here. <laughs> I'm trying to free him without even push. Let's see. Okay, I think we must get him on the boat now. Okay, if he's got boots on, guys, there's a spike. On his back, there's a spike. So um, please be very, very careful when you're handling these fish. Uh, they are dangerous. So just be careful when you are handling these fish. There you can see on his back. Um, and never put your hands in here. If you handle a fish, put your hand in his. There you can see the spike on his back. Okay. He so doesn't one have that, teeth. So. The one that's separate from his tail. So you can see the tail and on the top is the spike. There you go. Okay. So you just get the tail. There we go. Oh, okay. And then just okay. chuck it back nicely. Nice and gently. See you, young man. Well done. Good release. Okay, so at least that was a fish. Um, so let's get back in the water and get fishing. William mm Fang. -hmm. Go for it. Oh, this is a beautiful fish, guys. Um, it had his first run and then he dropped the bait. So what I did what then I started free spooling him. So what I did is I released the line and I fed in the line so that um he could, he could eat properly. Um, yeah, so I freeze pulled him. And uh, then he went on a second run, but this is a decent fish. Okay. Doesn't feel like a grunter though. We'll see now if we get closer. But it took um, quite a lot of line for a grunter. And um, yeah, it's swimming wide now. So I don't know exactly what this is. I didn't, don't feel any heat shakes yet. Let's we'll see if he goes I know over this one. There's a little bit. Yeah, there's, 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 there's your grunter and there you go. Yeah, this is the grunter. Okay, once it gets close to the head, you'll see, you'll, you'll ride, ride, ride the rod and then you'll make another run. So you'll see now, there he goes, rides, rides, rides the rod, rides, 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 and then he'll go for a run. You see, there he goes for his run. <laughs> yeah, I've caught so many of these grunters, guys. Um, <clears throat> this is probably going to be around about a two to three kilogram fish. They want to get to the boat. The fight actually really starts. You see, there he's riding me, riding me, and then he'll go for another run. There, let me put the ratchet on. You can actually hear when he goes for a run. He's riding me, riding me, riding me, riding rod. And there he goes for a little bit of a run. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There's the run that I'm talking <laughs> about. That's the run. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to put this one off. Yo, I was just, just fell asleep when the rod started. There he goes for another little run. 
I was I just fell asleep when we heard the rod going off. <clears throat> but I must say this light that we've got here helps a lot. There's no need for headlamps or anything like that. Um, what I'm going to do here is just to get this rod out of the way. There you go, okay, another one. And then I can fight the fish on the side of a boat, out of the way. Once you see a fish, we'll get the, the net. No, oh, he's... beautiful grunter. Where's the net? Beautiful uh, grunter. Nice. Very nice. Okay. You got the net there? Yeah, I've got the net. Okay. Nice. Nice fish. Oh, beautiful grunter. Well done, Buiki. Well Good done. Eye. That is a very nice size eating grunter and uh, we'll see if we can find the... Oh, he swallowed the old bait. But this is any case, this is going to be a keeper. Okay guys, when you're handling a grunter, be very, very careful. I've cut myself many times on um, with grunters. I'll show you now those, those plates that I'm talking about. Okay, so those plates. Oh, ooh, I almost They're cut sharp myself as again. Knives, eh? They it. are very, very sharp. So be careful. As you can see, I stuck my finger into the skills. Um, yeah, but this is a. Hey, Oop. hey! <laughs> it's a nice eating size grunt. Let's get that line away there. Okay. It's, okay. And I got it. That is a yeah. That's a very nice size eating grunter. And um, this one, if we can have this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'll catch one. He wants to eat some. Um, Okay, and uh, for those of you guys, it says that um, 4 o circle look is too big. There's your 4 o circle look right in the corner of the mouth, and that was caught on that choker bait that I showed you. Okay, so there you have it the choker bait does work, and uh, there's your little circle look out, and uh, this one's gonna be a very nice dinner. Okay, <coughs> Papa, Good morning everyone and uh, yeah so unfortunately there wasn't anything else biting last night we got the one grunt and there was one lost shad um, but as I wanted to pick it up and put it in the boat um, it bit uh, through my little line because we're only fishing with seven kilograms of little line it's bit through that um, that's unfortunately lost that one but um, yeah we're gonna pack away we're going to head uh, back to George. Happy Heritage Day. Happy Bride Day. Um, and we're going to bride that lovely grunter. And I um, hope to catch you guys soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode finally. Not just another episode where we just show you how to bait and how to get bait and how to put the bait on finally. We showed you how to catch a grunter as well. Okay, so uh, make sure to subscribe and please like the video. And I uh, hope to see you soon with some spearfishing. Say bye, Eve. Bye. <laughs> Cheers, guys.